Whether feeling a Jetta or a John Deere, everyone is feeling the pain at the pump. The spiking prices remind us of our dependency on foreign oil. In the far reaches of West Texas, however, there is an ongoing biofuel research project that could someday bring the days of cheap fuel back to life and offer farmers another source of income. Well, right now we're working on using algae as a source of biofuel um, and trying to find ways to make the algae or to understand the dynamics of growing algae in large outdoor systems. Brown is the project manager at the research facility where he and his wife Yola and five other researchers are experimenting with the ultimate green energy. While the research is still five to ten years away from making a dent in fuel prices, the goal is to have a finished product available at a cost many thought was history. After we grow it up, process and extract and then convert to fuel, we like to have a finished product at a, around or below $1.50 a gallon. A look at the ponds in Pecos might resemble stock tanks and watering holes around the state, but the water here is tested and nutrients are added to get results. Brown and his team monitor growth and deal with elements daily, just like Texas farmers and ranchers. We're really trying to achieve high densities, just like a farmer would with his corn crop or, or wheat. We're trying to achieve that high bushel per acre, but in our terms, it's grams per liter. Those deep in the project would like to see algae become another source of income for farmers. Economists say that a system similar to a cotton co-op could become a reality to harvest the algae. Algae-based biofuel is already a reality for the military, who according to the Renewable Fuels Reinvestment Act must use at least 50 percent of alternative fuels in all vehicles by 2016. Going forward, um, the Navy is, has a contract with one group for thousands of gallons of, of jet fuel. Biofuel is not the only reward from this slimy substance. Co-products in the form of proteins and nutrients are undergoing research as well to determine their use in livestock feed and pharmaceuticals. If we're going to produce algae at the quantities that we need to produce a viable product that can be used by the consumer or the military or the government, we need to grow it at such a scale that is very representative of what agriculture does now. Only time will tell as algae-grade fuel at the pump is years away, but the research remains promising. For TFB News, Nathan Smith, Pecos.